welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Labrik. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a meeting with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the presence of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa at Al Safriya Palace today. His Majesty the King reviewed a number of local issues aimed at enhancing the National Action March, stressing that the Kingdom will continue adopting development and economic plans to attain more national achievements and meet to the aspirations of its citizens. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for the tremendous efforts he is exerting to serve the Kingdom and solidate its progress as well as his instant or constant endeavours to adopt plans and strategies that cope with developments in order to improve performance of government departments. Tackling the latest developments of the fight against COVID-19, His Majesty the King lauded the launch of the National Vaccination campaign and the good results achieved so far thanks to the high turnout of citizens and residents reflecting their awareness and cooperation in order to ensure its success. His Majesty the King expresses pride in the efforts of national competencies working at the front lines and their allied teams praising their contributions to ensure the success of the plans put towards the combat of the pandemic. Regarding the rights of Bahraini fishermen, His Majesty the King highly valued the noble and patriotic stances made by the legislative authority and the civil society in this regard. His Majesty the King extended his deepest thanks and appreciation to all official and private entities as well as to citizens and residents for their congratulations on Bahrain's national days and participation in the nationwide celebrations marking them. Wishing everyone many happy returns. The Royal Court announced that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will welcome the Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein, along with Crown Prince His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II upon his arrival in the kingdom tomorrow. During the visit, His Majesty the King and His Majesty King Abdullah II will hold talks on the solid fraternal relations between the two countries and people, in addition to the latest regional Arab and international developments. The Royal Court welcomed the kingdom's distinguished guests and his accompanying delegation. Wishing His Majesty King Abdullah II a pleasant stay in the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the interchange at Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway and Isa bin Salman Highway to mark its official opening. The interchange is one of Bahrain's key infrastructure development projects which aims to expand the kingdom's main road network and develop first-class infrastructure across Bahrain. Commenting on the kingdom's forward-looking infrastructure projects, His Royal Highness underlined the economic benefits an advanced road network system brings to our bolstering economic productivity in line with the vision of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment to sustainable urban development that yields real community benefits, creates new economic opportunities and facilitates traffic flow. Later, His Royal Highness was briefed by the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Developing Projects and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, on the interchange at Rafah Palace. The interchange is another strategic road network project that will increase safety and traffic flow at the intersection between Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway and Sheikh Isa bin Salman Highway and increase vehicle capacity per hour from 900 to 3,600. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah noted that the project includes the construction of an overpass with two lanes to increase traffic flow between North Manama, Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway and Rafah and Isa Town East via Sheikh Isa bin Salman Street. He went on to the highlight the five-line expansion of Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway taking place on both sides of the highway next to Sheikh Isa bin Salman Highway and Bedeya. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Islam bin Abdullah Khalaf, were also attending for the briefing.
The Shura Council held its weekly meeting remotely, presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh. The council approved uh, referring the draft law issuing corrective justice law for children and their protection from abuse to the Representatives Council. The council discussed the report of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee on a draft law ratifying an agreement on air services between the governments of Bahrain and the Maldives between and beyond their territories. The council also discussed the report of the aforementioned committee on a draft law ratifying the agreement between the governments of Bahrain and Switzerland regarding the elimination of double taxation in relations to taxes on income and cap capital and the prevention of evasion and tax avoidance. Deputy Prime Minister, Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Development Projects and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received Works Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning Minister, Engineer Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, and Director of Bahrain Projects at the Saudi Fund for Development, the SFD, Mohammed Al Hussein, and Mohammed Al Rashid, Assistant Engineer for Bahraini Projects at SFD. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, is proceeding with plans to develop and modernize the infrastructure system in a way that supports sustainable development and positive economic growth. He praised the historical relations with Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and his permanent support for Bahrain, which was reflected in the depth of relations between the two kingdoms and their people. Sheikh Khalid hailed SDF's support for a number of projects in the kingdom, including financing the development project of Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway intersection with Sheikh Isa bin Salman Highway Sar intersection, with a value exceeding leading at 20 million Bahraini dinars, which has inaugurated or was once inaugurated today by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister. Health Minister Faiq bin Saeed al Saleh said that steady turnout of citizens and residents to take vaccination against the coronavirus reflects the advanced level of health awareness within the Bahraini community. The minister praised the high sense of responsibility of the citizens through effective partnerships to ensure the success of the plans to combat the pandemic. Al Saleh added that the national campaign for vaccination has provided the safe vaccine under the umbrella of the World Health Organization and increased or licensed by the National Health regulatory authority to protect every member of the community from the coronavirus. The minister pointed out that the availability of free vaccination for every citizen and resident stresses the kingdom's interest in the health and safety of all members of the community. The minister noted that immunization is a simple, safe and effective way against diseases and stressed that the importance of this vaccine lies in protecting oneself against the virus by allowing the body to develop a safe immune response that provides protection from the body by preventing or controlling infection, adding that the vaccine will help a gradual return to normalcy. In the presence of the President of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence inaugurated the Declaration of the Kingdom of Bahrain in South America, starting from Brazil. In a ceremony organized by the center in the presence of the Brazilian Minister of Foreign Affairs, a number of ministers and officials and a number of officials and members of the diplomatic corps and religious and social personalities, the Brazilian President delivered a speech in which he extended his greetings to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion occasion of the National Day, hailing His Majesty's efforts that contributed to the growth of close relations between Brazil and Bahrain based on common principles and values such as freedom of religion and belief and rejection of extremism. He announced the opening of an embassy in Manama in order to further develop bilateral relations between the two friendly countries in many fields. In his speech, the Assistant Minister for Foreign Affairs, Abdullah bin Faisal bin Jawar al Dusiri, explained that the Bahrain Declaration embodies the noble directives, objectives and messages of His Majesty the King on promoting the values of tolerance, peaceful coexistence and a religious reproachment. For his part, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa said, the Kingdom of Bahrain stands as an icon for peace in the Middle East region. He pointed out that Bahrain is looking forward to deepening its ties of cooperation with the countries of South America based on the values of tolerance, coexistence and mutual respect between all people and regions. This is very good to you, especially to you receive this message from King Hamad. I had the chance to be in Bahrain and I saw a very nice country, developed, clean streets, polite people. Every religion had their space and the opportunity to be in Bahrain 
We feel very honored, especially because we are the first one in Latin America that are signing this agreement. And we hope our neighbors here in Argentina, Chile, Uruguay come together to sign together because this is talking about tolerance, coexisting, and uh, we are very happy, very glad. We, we really feel honored with that. And we think that probably you feel the same way. And uh, we had now in the end a very nice uh, demonstration with the Christ statue with the flag of Bahrain, telling to the people of Bahrain that we are very welcome here and we have a very close people, very happy, very open-ed, very polite. So here is also the house of the Bahrain people. Well, it's a great honor to be here this evening to celebrate uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Day uh, under the uh, visit of the President, President Jair Bolsonaro, who really honored us here and praised His Majesty's approach to religious freedom and peaceful coexistence around the world. Um, the symbols of religious freedom here in this beautiful country of Brazil, the most important one is the statue of Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro. And this evening we were absolutely thrilled to have a live feed to Rio de Janeiro that showed the statue of Christ the Redeemer bathed in the flag of the Kingdom of Bahrain and they played the Bahraini national anthem. We realized that we have so much in common between Brazil and the President Bolsonaro and Bahrain under King Hamad uh, about not only the uh, relations between the two countries but the ideas we have uh, for the world, for coexistence, for religious freedom. So we have been working uh, from the point of view of Brazil on all those issues since uh, President Bolsonaro took over. And uh, we realize we have this uh, uh, sense of brotherhood now with uh, Bahrain. We seem to be working exactly in the same way. So it was very inspiring for us. Uh, very encouraging and we're already talking about how we uh, will develop corporations in those areas that are so important for both countries. Of course we have also the, the trade and investment relations but uh, I was particularly uh, 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 very enthusiastic about this uh, possibility around the religious freedom. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,535 with 175 recoveries and 179 registered new cases. 105 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 54 are contacts of active cases and 20 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.